Welcome to the World Herald News for the 15th of October 2023. Holy Spirit, show us what we need to hear in spiritual news today. 43, the sea lion, what else is new? The moon in reverse. Something is being revealed about the sea lion who is probably a Freemason. 40, somebody's 40, somebody's a Cancer, somebody's a Pisces, and somebody's a Leo. Somebody, yeah, definitely, look, somebody's born in 1977, 33 and 77. Multiple groups of free people are doing spell work together, and they're all Freemasons. Somebody's also part of the military. 30, the Empress B. The 30th of July could be significant. Yes, they wanted to manifest something on the 30th of July. And it failed. Six, the Pegasus. The 30th of June could also be significant. They do this at the end of each month. P somebody gets paid at the end of the month to do spell work every month. <laughs> the 13th of June. They also do new moon magic. New moon and full moon. Possibly half moon too. Also, the eclipse happened yesterday, I think. So they did something during the eclipse too, of course, 38, the Empress of the Fairies. Some of the people doing spell work for this powerful group are in their 30s. 27, the Sun. There could be a husband and a wife doing something. 47, the Tree of Life. Yes, there's a whole family. The witchcraft family is all here gathered together, plotting on me. 18 stone fist 18th of june somebody's born on the 18th then we've got 18th of march then we've got the i almost said the 13th the 15th of march but since i said that probably the 13th of march is significant too yeah exactly i didn't even notice we've got 13 here and three here there we go multiple pisces are involved in this Multiple water signs, 522, multiple intuitives, yes, with all the water. I just saw 222, 22nd of February is also in Pisces season, another water sign, 22. Yep, 22 is definitely significant. There are multiple pli, 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 multiple pli. I don't know what I'm supposed to say here, but they're putting words in my mouth. Multiple people born on the 22nd. 35. The youngest son, 22 Tudor. Somebody's younger brother who passed away is pointing their finger at the brother. Also, there's a younger brother who's still with us pointing their finger at the older brother for doing something. 41, Smash Tree. Smash Tree, the mother of the woods. 29, the moon. There could be a younger brother blaming the older brother for the death of their mother. 29th of October, something will be happening on the 29th of October. Somebody is being followed around and there's a plan against this person for the 29th of October right after the full moon. What's the plan for the 29th of October, please? 14, the beast with seven heads. The 14th of October could be significant too. The plan could have been set in motion yesterday on the 14th. 18, Ho-Oh. Somebody's traveling somewhere between the 14th and the 18th of October. 34, the mace. Hmm. 42, the rainbow snake. There's a 42-year-old doing something in particular. 22, Quetzalcoatl. They're traveling to South America. This 42-year-old could be born on the 22nd. I always get 22 and 42 coming out together. I think that's what it means. 26, Diana the fairy. 22 and 26 are also coming up together a lot. 45, the lake of fairies. 39 in Kanyamba. Somebody's traveling between South America and South Africa very often. One of these people could be born on the 26th. And they're in their 40s. So.
So somebody could be traveling between the 14th and the 18th between South America and South Africa. They're meeting with some witch possibly, or they themselves are doing witchcraft. They could be doing something together. 21, the soul fairy godmother. They're trying to end someone because 21 is coming up right on top of Sirius from the sky, which is my death card. 13 and 21 could be significant. Somebody's literally going to be going to the woods somewhere, to one of these temples in South America. 25, the castle in the north. And then on the 25th and the 26th, they're going to be traveling north to Europe. So first, they're going from South America to South Africa or the other way around. And then they're going to Northern Europe. 32, the Naughty Bridge. They could be going to Belgium specifically, to Hodag. They could also be traveling to Minnesota or somewhere around the Great Lakes area. 14, Spark. The 14th of February is always coming through. And I've got two here twice, so definitely the 14th of February, Valentine's Day is significant. There's a man who is pretending to be everyone's Valentine. That's how he gets what he wants. He gets to um, sacrifice people. He convinces women that he wants to marry them or offer them some kind of benefits. <laughs> and then he sacrifices the people that he pretends to be their valentine. There we go. That's the plan he has. Yeah, he's a king of swords reversed. It's a Libra. 633, the prince of fire. There's also an Aries who does this. Huh. There are some older people. There's a whole family. A whole family is doing spell work together with these people. The 31st of January comes through over and over again. There's definitely an Aquarius man who's involved in this. Somebody's born on the 12th. Somebody's born on the 16th. The 31st of December is also significant. A whole family did a spell on the 31st of December. Seven, the Siberian wolf. 43, Zyana, the fairy reversed. Multiples of seven could be significant. Seven, 43 breaks down to seven. 25 breaks down to seven. Multiples of six and multiples of seven too. 20, Kanotila. This could be somebody who was sacrificed by these people. This Zayana, the fairy character, or she will be sacrificed on the 25th. This could be a female in her 40s. She might be 43 specifically, doesn't have to be. She could be a Libra. She could also be a blonde woman. There could be multiple women represented by this Zayana the Fairy who are going to be um, hurt or attacked on the 25th. This woman is from the north somewhere. She could be from North America or from Russia. They definitely look like they're from the north. 27, Simmer. They could also look like they're from the south. They could also be mixed race. Somebody could be mixed race. 23, the Kraken. This is a whole collective of women. It's not just one woman. 40. And 50 or 34 Zartan. Somebody could be reading these psalms a lot. Psalm 34 and Psalm 40. It could be one of these women. One of these women could be pretending to be very religious. Also, somebody could be reading these psalms to protect themselves from these people. 226. The Empress B. 26th of February, Pisces. This is a date I see a lot. There's definitely a Pisces female involved. There's a Libra and a Taurus too. Sagittarius. The 25th of September and the 25th of May. 25th of September is again in Libra season. So there could be a Libra who's going to be in reverse. Something's going to happen to a Libra from this group. 
that's who's probably next for Inuit in reverse. This is from Alaska. Eight Mishipeshu. This is North America. This could be somebody who either lives in Alaska or in North America, or they're a mixed background. They have a mixed background, possibly. Four, eight, nine, one. The 29th of January. Somebody's born on the 29th of January, a female, an Aquarius female. There's also a Virgo here, a Capricorn, a Cancer, a Leo. All these people could be seeing a backfire. They thought they were protected, but they're not. They're losing their protection for what they've been doing. And somebody's definitely of Native American descent. One or more of these people, whether it looks like it or not. They have Native American, Alaskan possibly. And... Um, with the bunny in reverse here, also somebody could have land or they want the land of Native Americans. This is somebody who's trying to snatch the land from Native Americans, it's very possible. They could be trying to prove that they have Native American descent in order to snatch some kind of land from them. Hmm. Some of these people are the are in the entertainment industry. Days is the healer, 16. Somebody will fail in their plan here. This entertainer is gonna fail in her plan. 16, days is the healer, 12, 12 the wise old lady. These could be two older people. The 16th of December could be significant or somebody's born on the 12th, the other one's born on the 16th. 10, the siren. Tomorrow is the 16th of October. Something could be happening tomorrow. There could be somebody who's seen these people doing something sinister in order to obtain some land. The 31st of January is another date I see a lot. There's another Aquarius involved here. 40 and 50 or somebody could be 40 or in their 40s. But what I'm getting is that there's some kind of evidence that a man and a woman possibly did something in order to obtain a land which isn't theirs. 23, the magic wolf. 23rd of December could be significant. This could be happening by the 23rd of December. 525, five, Leah. Somebody might get arrested. Literally, there's a female, this Leah character, the Aquarius female. She literally attacked another country or an island. I saw 1313 as I said that. I think this has to do with Hawaii, with what happened in Hawaii and possibly other places where Native Americans live. These places are being attacked one by one because somebody wants their land and this somebody could actually have descent from there or they just want the land. They could also be trying to prove that they have descent in these places so that they can grab the land. Nine, Pamola. Oh, 19 is here again. Something about the 19th is significant, the 9th of January or the 1st of September. Capricorn and Virgo and Aquarius, possibly Leo and Scorpio. There's a whole family who wants land somewhere. All of these people are in the public eye. Eight, Eileen Rip from the Sun. Four, the magic bag, 84, the year 1984, the 4th of August could be significant. Twenty-three, the Kraken. One, two, three, somebody's also doing the one, two, three spell very heavily on a group of people. They're trying to keep people poor and desperate so that they can come in and take things from them more easily, possibly their lands. 
yeah, the temple of fire. They're burning the house down and then they're coming to, to buy it. 44, the lunatic. These people are lunatics, indeed. Also, somebody's from the UK, one of these, one or more of these lunatics. Yeah, it's true. They want to annex more land all over the world where they feel like they have a say or um, a decision to make in somebody else's land. The devil. The snake, 42, the rainbow snake, for the magic bag, 424. And yes, they would do anything for the magic bag because they're a bunch of reptilians. <laughs> oh my God. But there's also a message about the female, blonde female who's involved in this. I want to talk about this blonde female because um, I was getting some messages about her and I'm, I'm mad at her specifically at this time, even though there are many people to be mad at. <laughs> but I'm very mad at the particular female who works with all these people. So... Um, we're going to talk about her too. She's a part of the spiritual community, of course. Every time I support somebody in the spiritual community, they turn out to be something else. Okay, Holy Spirit, show us what about the blonde woman, please. Talk to me about the blonde woman. 41, Smash Tree, 42, the Rainbow Snake. They could be in their early 40s. 23, the Kraken. And yes, they definitely work with these mobsters. This one's a snake. She likes to go into the woods. She might get bitten by a snake the next time she goes into the woods. This could be a warning for her. Okay, what's gonna happen to her in the woods? Let's see what's happening to the mother of the woods. Nine, Sharnabon the wizard. One, Leah. Twelve, the wise old lady. Oh. There's a Libra and a Sagittarius. These people are doing spell work on her. This woman might have to meet them somewhere in the woods. And these people are going to curse her. Or they're cursing her from overseas. They don't necessarily need to be together. But they're being cursed by these uh, two I've been picking up on for a year now. 633, the Prince of Fire and 10, Stone Fist. Something could have happened on the 6th of October. Well, something big did happen on the 6th of October. But this is implying that whatever happened on the 6th of October in the world was caused by witchcraft. Somebody could have picked up on this. Or this person was told. This person could have been told by the Libra and the Sagittarius about what happened. 39 in Kanyamba. Somebody from South America was talking to this woman. Free, the mother of the woods. I did call her the mother of the woods earlier. So yeah, she likes to go into the woods. She was told by somebody in South Africa about what's going on. 33 and 77 could be significant. Somebody could be born in 1977. One, Leah, six and 33, the Prince of Fire, 10, Stone Fist. 522 Cosmin. Okay, there's somebody who supposedly predicts things, but they're not really predictions. This person's a part of a coven. And they're telling her what to say. 32, the naughty bridge. Yeah, very naughty. Very naughty indeed. This is an international group. Yeah, the beast with seven heads. 14, 35, the youngest son. She gets her information from uh, abroad. Yeah. Right. 
Okay, so now I know not to trust anyone in the spiritual community. Thank you very much. What else? The sea lion, the Freemasons. Yeah, of course. For the magic bag. There are a lot of spiritualists who get bought by Freemasons. 15, Sarah. 38, the Empress of the Fairies. Okay, so yeah, there's that woman born on the 15th who's 38. Also, there's a blonde who's gonna get eaten by the Wendigo man. <laughs> oh my god. 42, the Rainbow Snake. This 42-year-old snake could be attacked by the Wendigo man. Or a snake, an actual snake might bite her. Sixteen days is the healer, a skinwalker. She's gonna see a skinwalker in the woods and this thing's gonna attack her and turn into her. And it will look like she never went anywhere, but she's not gonna be her anymore. Absolutely. Zayana the fairy in reverse, the blonde woman's gonna be gone. The blonde woman in her 40s. One, Amarok, two, free. One, two, free, go. The skinwalker is gonna turn into a wolf and eat her up. She was doing the one, two, free spell, so no more one, two, free spell from her. The temple of fire. She's gonna go back home. But it's not gonna be her anymore, exactly. 26, Amit. She's gonna be the devil. 38, the Empress of the Fairies, right? We had one Empress of the Fairies, the shiny one, is gonna be replaced by the non-shiny one, which is actually the Skinwalker, who is the devil. 34, Zartan. 12, the wise old lady. There's a witch who's cursing this woman right now. This could be one of the people working with her. This could be the Sagittarius. The Sagittarius from South Africa or some other Sagittarius is cursing her. 35, the youngest son. Yeah, definitely a Sagittarius. This is a Sagittarius card for me. 23, the magic wolf. Right, okay, so she's gonna be gone because she worked with these people. And they're trying to get rid of her now. 45, the Lake of Fairies. Somebody lives in the area of the Great Lakes. 41, Smash Tree. 18, Ho-Oh. This person's gonna be gone and replaced, like I said, by literally a skinwalker. 